so good evening everyone good evening sir okay okay fine uh yes uh, kanika ma'am yes sir ha aapko to list provide nahi hai na abhi sir kis cheez ki ye sare people list ki nahi abhi nahi hai हाँ तो व्हाट uh, uh, एक काम करना जस्ट एवरीवन जस्ट राइट डाउन योर नेम्स इन द चैट बॉक्स वंस प्लीज एवरीवन जस्ट राइट डाउन देयर नेम्स इन द चैट बॉक्स ओके फाइन कनिका मैम बस आप इस चीज को है ना सिर्फ आप कॉपी पेस्ट कर लेना फिर मुझे भेज देना ऐसा कुछ करना फिर मैं दिव्यांग श्याम को बोल दूंगा ओके okay, सर मैं देखती हूँ ओके फ्रेंड्स स्क्रीन इज विजिबल ना यस सो अगेन विल स्टार्ट विद द प्रोसीडिंग्स एंड ऑल दैट अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सी फ्यू ऑफ द नंपाय मॉड्यूल्स दैट हाउ एक्चुअली दिस नंपाय आर गोइंग टू वर्क सो बेसिकली वी ऑल नो दैट नंपाय इज एन यूज्ड फॉर अरे ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग also used for image processing and linear algebra and what are these image processing and linear algebra we'll see as soon as we'll uh, move on to the next proceedings fine simply what we have taken we have taken a just a small lump and array a1 equal to np dot array and then converted this 1 2 3 4 to 9 members into that then uh, the second block is that uh, क्लियर है कि स्क्रीन की साइज थोड़ी और बढ़ा देता हूं टू फाइन नाउ आई गेस दिस इज विजिबल सेकंड स्टेप इज दैट b इक्वल टू a1 डॉट रीशेप नाउ व्हाट इज दिस रीशेप फंक्शनलिटी एक्चुअली वर्क्स रीशेप इज बेसिकली यूज्ड टू कन्वर्ट एनी पर्टिकुलर एरे इनटू दिस फॉर्मेट एनी फॉर्मेट दैट यू वांट टू हैव सिंपली लाइक यू गॉट एन एरे हियर एज एन वनडी फॉर्मेट but now what you are going to have now this 3 by 3 that means what you are going to convert this one day array array into this 2d format in this 2d format is of 3 by 3 matrix you can see here now this the same array you can see that this is an a1 simply we are applying the reshape on a1 and now when we are going to print this this is the same array now it is going to print out in this 3 by 3 format That is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. Fine. That's the working of this particular reshape functionality. It will just convert any particular do any particular dimensional into your required required values. Fine. That's the function of reshape. Then you can have this any manipulation on that particular array as well. What simply see b star ten plus five. Fine. So what we have done simply we have taken a c. in that what the uh, value of array we have just multiplied the b array into 10 and then we have added the value with 5 so what the new array will be 1 into 10 plus 5 2 into 10 plus 5 3 into 10 plus 5 that is 10 uh, sorry 15 25 and 35 yes that's the answer you will going to get for remaining all as well 15 25 35 45 55 65 65 in similar fashion it will move on then the print a1 dot shape now this print b dot shape simply one d array is that a1 dot shape you can see what is this a1 equal to this is an one d array b is a two d array fine so print b dot shape is uh, a1 dot shape is showing the nine and this b dot shape is showing you 3 by 3 that is also you can uh, cross check here as this this b is shaping 3 by 3 similar fashion b dot shape is also going to work on this now this b type b type is just to show you the type of the variable present in an array like in this array we have taken 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
fine nine values we have taken and all those are integer values so it is going to show you an integer 64 bit of integer it is showing you if you if you take 1.2 2.3 3.4 and all it will show you float values then we can also create an array using the range functionality fine range functionality means what np dot arrange 5 that means it is going to create an array that ranges specifies from 0 to 5. We all know that always the array works till n minus 1. That means 0 to start with 1, 2, 3, 4 it will work on. Uh, uh, always the array is starting with an index of 0. Fine, it will so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 it will start. And uh, if you are going to specify in place of 10, it will show you an output of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, what if you have to specify a number of elements with some particular distance? Fine, with some particular distance. That mean means what? It will take two more steps or there. Okay, fine. I'll just tell you what is this line space actually works. NP dot line space 0, 1, 2, 4. Now this, it will start from 0, it will end at 1 only, but in, what is this 4? The 4 is the total number of values. So it will divide the whole array that is starting from 0 and ending with 1 with total count as 4. Fine. Uh, just a minute. I'll have this uh, collaborate. Uh, is this collab file is visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Simply np dot line space zero comma one comma four. Uh, you can see now np dot line space that it is starting from zero and it is going to end at one only. Fine. Now this four is actually giving you the total steps between zero to one. That means whatever the, you are going to get an array, the total outcomes in a particular array will be four numbers only. You can see 0, 0 0.33, 0 0.66 and 1. Total four values are present in a particular array. If you are going to specify here as 6, now 6, so it will show you like 6. 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1. So the, now the total count of the particular array will be 6. So that's the functionality of line space. You have to specify any array and that too with some particular steps. That means in this, starting with this array, you only require six steps. If you're going to specify 12, it will again show you an array of 12 only, 0, 0 0.09, 0 0.18, and, and all those things in similar fashion, it will move on. Fine, that's the actual working of this line space. Then again, the comes as a dot zeros and dot ones that we have already discussed. Fine, that is the zeros and ones. It will specify all zeros and ones. Then these are the constant diagonal values. That is print np dot i. Np dot i. It is showing you three. That means for three 
थ्री थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स ऑल द डायगनल वैल्यूज विल बी वन दैट्स द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ आई वैल्यू यू कैन चेंज द कॉन्स्टेंट केस वैल्यू हियर ऑल्सो फॉर द एन पी आई then for np dot diagonal you can have these things as well like if i am going to uh, that's the functionality of np dot i then np dot diagonal then 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 uh, is this the same functionality np dot diagonal 1 2 3 4 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah something here yeah, but uh, direct dispatcher is showing small error is there Okay, fine. So just a braces array was there. So now the np dot diagonal one two three four. Now you can see the i functionality is showing you the all the constant of all the diagonal values as one. Now by specifying this diagonal, you are going to specify all the values. That is one two three four. So now the all the arrays you will get here as the one two three four only. Then second identity identity is also you will know that the identity is called as the identity matrix. That is the diagonal values are equal to one. Okay, the i values you can change the constant values. That is, you can see here for constant diagonal values. That is, if you are going to put i three in that, if you are going to put constant as two, your all the diagonal values will be two. If you are putting k equal to three, all the diagonal values will be three. That's the i functionality. The multiple diagonal values np dot diagonal identity is just an identity matrix. then this is an array matrix uh, array slicing try to just more concentrate in this part that's the most important part a equal to np dot arrange 10 10 number of elements we have taken starts from zero negative indexing start from minus 1 okay you can see also i have seen some any this hash function just to see the copies of that how actually it works on array 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 n elements negative indexing starts from minus 1 indexing always starts from 0 first slicing that is the uh, taking another variable b a of 3 to 8 that means you can see here 0 1 2 3 it will start from 3 4 5 6 and 7 that is it is not going to print the 8 because we know that the indexing slicing works to 0 to n minus 1 only fine Okay, so that's the first printout three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what is this a equal to n p dot arrange twelve? Simple wise, we will see. Now, a equal to n p dot arrange twelve means what? It will take zero to twelve elements, that is zero to eleven elements, and then it will try to convert it into a three to four matrix, three by four matrix. You can see here. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, zero to eleven elements are there. That's the first function of arrange. reshape into 3 by 4 that is you can see three three rows and four columns that is the reshape functionality that is the simple function simply converting all those 12 elements into this reshaping functionality then comes uh, these are the again these are the other slicing that is works basically works on the slicing works simply what we have taken b Equal to n. Uh, don't see the output first. Okay, b equal to n p dot array zero comma one and one comma two. By the, now looking at this thing, what you are just observing the values from these things. What is this zero comma one and one comma two? Zero comma one. That is the values. That is the particular row and index value that you want. That you want to show. Showcase in your output. Then again, two comma one and three comma three. Again, this is an another output for another array. <coughs> Now that means what? So zero and one are the two columns that you want to take. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, that are the two rows that you want to take zero and one. Okay, fine. You have taken that those things. now what this 1 comma 2 it will just take those two column values that you want to take simply so what is going to be your voice, your voice is break if i am not wrong sorry 
sorry ma'am can you please just uh, repeat it again your voice was breaking sir i don't know if it was only for me but uh, it was breaking okay it's for happening for others also my voice is breaking for others also too no 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 sir okay 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 fine it's clear so no problem okay i guess uh, taj ma'am is something like uh, some network issues regarding your side only i guess okay sir i'll see to it thank you uh thank you ma'am uh, so i want to repeat from where you want like uh, the voice was uh, breaking down from the starting should i want to repeat something ma'am no no sir not not from the starting sir uh so where i should can you show this a slide i will yeah. i will say you yeah from that b is equals to np dot array sir from this thing uh, a equal to np dot arrange and reshape no no yeah that is over sir okay fine the next one this one b equal to a and h uh, this the slicing functionality right sir the next one sir below This one, na, equal to np dot arrange twelve reshape, or this one. Uh, from reshape, sir. Reshape, okay, okay, fine, fine. Reshape, okay, fine. So this is simply what we have done. Np dot arrange the major, the major functionality of arrange is simply converting, uh, creating an array of zero to twelve uh, elements. From reshape, sir. Reshape only. You can continue, sir. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Zero to eight twelve. It is taking the twelve elements, starting from zero, ending to eleven. Simple. Okay, we have taken zero to eleven. Find reshape is three to four. That means it will convert this twelve elements into three cross four matrix. Zero, one, two, three. You can see there we are getting three, uh, three rows and four columns. That's the simple functionality of this arrange dot reshape. Then here comes as this b dot b equal to np dot array zero comma one. And one comma two. Okay, fine. So what is this? Actually, it is going to show you an output as what is this b equal to this thing and c equal to c. Simply, we have just taking the two indexes of b and c as two indexes. Fine. So what is this three comma three? I'll just try to explain one after one another. What is this three comma three now? Okay. So. Uh, What is this three comma three? You can see here. Uh, that is, I guess, this is the uh, what is this element as eleven? You can call it as zero one two, and this is zero one two comma three. Fine. That is the second element, uh, second row, third element is showing you an as output as eleven. Okay. Now what is this seven? That is the first row. third element fine you can just i am whatever seen i am saying that is i am going to tell you about this c element you can see this 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 3 2 comma 1 are the row values 3 comma 3 are the column values simply want to know if i want to just distinguish whatever the things that are that you are putting down before the comma that are your row values and whatever the things that are putting after the call after the comma are your column values simple you can see 2 comma 1 will be your row values 3 comma 3 will be your column values now simply what it is going to 2 comma 3 it is taking as 2 comma 3 that is your 11th value simply it is write down as 11 similar fashion it will move on on for other values too now the next things will np dot arrange 20 again reshaping into 5 comma 4 again the same functionality then again the slicing as a to a to a to a 13 now what is a less than 13 simply it will print all those values that are less than 13 simple that's the functionality of a less than 13 now what is this a2 comma 3 i already told you that whatever the things that you are putting before comma are your rows and after comma that are your co uh, column values now you can see from this particular 0 1 to okay you can from see now these are the how many columns rows you have 0 1 2 so what is we are going to 2 comma 3 
that is 0 1 and 2 so 8 9 10 11 now you have to consider this particular row this particular column you and you only have to see and now then you have to go for three value that is your 11th value i guess this is not the actual array yes because 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 okay okay uh, this one this is the only array 0 1 2 that is your 8 9 10 11 that's the row you have to consider and then the column value is 3 that is you have to go 0 at zeroth location it is 8 first 9 second location at 10 and at third location the value is 11 so 2 comma 3 the value is showing as 11 now what if i am going to write okay a equal to np dot arrange 20 dot v shape 5 comma 4 i am very bad at syntax huh? please don't go for my syntax and all you have to check uh spelling mistake i don't know even the name of arrange Okay, fine. This is the thing you got now. Now, simply, I'll just try to differentiate two things. Now, what if I am going to write it as 2 to 3, uh, 2 comma 3? What it is going to give you an output? It is going to give an, an output of 11. Now, what if I want to uh, want out this output as a 14? Simple again, check 0, 1, 2, and 3. Third row I want. Okay, change the third and not 0, 1, and 2. That means I have to change the column element to 2. Now it is going to show you an output as 14. Fine, you can see 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 column, that means it is going to show 12, 13, 14, 15. And after that, simply putting that column. Now 3, even if you want to 3, you can show you all the outputs. If you want to 2, not the row, it will show the all the column values. Fine. In similar fashion, it will move on. Fine. Next thing, if you want to show the 19th value, okay, fine. Simple A and putting the 9th value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 and the, uh, and the last value as a 5. Last column value is 5, 0, 1, 2, 3. Sorry, there is only 3 left. Okay, it will show you an other value as 19. In similar for, uh, portion, the arrays are going to work on. So now this is going to be an negative indexing is also going to work on. Now what is this negative indexing? When you want an multiple elements in a particular array. Fine, if you want this 5 and 6 and 9 and 10 in that particular value. What you have, this is the value between starting from 0 to 2 and that is from minus 1 2 and 2 minus 1 what it is going to print out that is 0 1 and 2 why so already told you that uh, the uh, things that are that you are going to write before the comma are regarding row software don't look at this minus 1 first just uh, try to cover this point that is from 0 to 2. Now, what is this 0 to 2? You have to consider the first two rows. That is 0 and 1. N minus 1, no, not going to take in this tooth value. That is 0 and 1 you have to consider now. That is the 0, 1, 2, 3 value and 4, 5, 6, 7. These two rows now you have to consider. And now which values you are going to retrieve? That is remaining minus one you don't want to include this minus one that is every element including minus one now you have to simply think these are going to work out on the after column the values are going to work on on column values now you don't want to require this minus one value that means now seven and uh, three and seven will not going to include that is because these indexing values are indexing values are uh, minus one Similar fashion, if, you, if I am going to write here as uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, same way the output will also be the same thing, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. That means I have to start from the 0th column, but I have to move till second column only, that is 0, 1, 2 only. That's the working of this style. Now, what if I want to have this 5, uh, 5 6, 7, 9, 10, and 11? 
that means uh that means what you have to go now 5 6 7 and 9 10 11 that means you have to consider all columns in which rows you don't want to that means you have to start from the first row and you have to move on to the third row we'll go for the columns next point first you have to keep this in point first and three what else okay so we got the required rows that is the 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 now just simply want to have the manipulation regarding columns now which things you don't want to include in that particular column simple okay just keep it with this thing now we'll see what it is going to simple it will start from each and every element okay fine now what if i am going to route here here as the zero it will again not going to consider if what if i am going to print it has one it will only show the array as 4 and 8 itself that means what we are going to start from here but we have going to stop at the first location itself 4 5 6 8 9 10 okay we got the somewhat more close to the errors at 4 5 6 8 9 10 okay now what if i want to again you i'll just have to see whether it is going to work or not yes again it is going to work on now simply 4 okay 4 and 6 8 comma 10 it is showing you 4 comma 7 okay now okay fine so simply you can see that how manipulation works actually tells you about i already told you about these things yesterday that this is the jumping step that is the steps you want to iterate fine fine so we have uh, so we have taken two rows that is the first and the second row we have taken all the columns but we have iterated with three steps now it will start from 4 but it will iterate 4 then 1 plus 2 plus 3 it will just show you an array as a 7 itself only fine that's the array slicing actually works on you can have minus indexing works also uh, you can also work on that particular minus 1 as well now what is this a uh, transpose matrix is transpose matrix is just convert any particular array into its transpose value that is your 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 10 11 okay i'll just try to put down this here only Where is the transpose one? Okay, n p dot transpose of a. Simply, you can see here uh, the first thing you zero one two three were in a similar row. Now this zero four eight twelve sixteen we are going to combine in a particular row. Maybe you are all aware of this uh, transpose functionalities and all these are all matrix functionalities. now converting any particular 2d or 3d data into 1d data now you can see we got an a as a 2d uh, 2d data now if you are using as ad dot flatten it just simply convert that into an 1d array again 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 again now you have taken a1 and a2 to different arrays that is 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 and you are using a concatenate function that is a1 comma a2 now it will simply concatenate and all add all those values in a particular array that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are all very simple particular functions just you have to keep uh, this method names only in your mind you can do this uh, lot of things by your itself like you have said concatenate then simply maybe you are aware of the word determinant now in the starting i have tell you about that arrays are basically used on linear algebra now you are away i'm quite not sure that what is this lean alg lin alg that is simply a linear algebraal database that's it linear algebra uh, linear algebra that's a short form simply determinant of 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 you can check whatever the determinant value is you can check uh, the for this matrix 1 comma 2 and 2 2 comma 1 whether it's a determinant value is this or not simple then this uh, eig will uh, det will show you the determinant eig will show you the eigen vector values the first uh, okay fine eigen values and the right eigen vector values 
fine the first array will show you the eigen values and the right and this the remaining values will going to show you the right eigen vector values i'm not going deeply regarding what your eigen values and right eigen vectors and all because all these i guess you are being uh, aware in the 10th 11th and 12th max only what are these things even in these you are not going to solve any numerical data just you have to put in the simply np dot line lg and then dot aig and whatever the required array simply you can perform and then now these are some different operations that you can have a plus b a minus b exponential function as well then some different math functions that is you have a specified array that is a two four six eight minus one and minus three now the sum will show you the all the values to over flow 6 6 6 12 20 minus 1 19 minus 3 16 it is showing 16 then max it will show you the max value minimum will show you the minimum value mean will show you the mean value arg max will show you the maximum values index value this is the 8 is the maximum value 0 1 2 and 3 at 3 you can see the arg max value you can see here as 3 Similar fashion, you can go for as a 5 as well for the arg minimum value. Arg max and arg minimum value will show you the index of that particular value. Math functions, uh, another math functions are also there like sine, cos, cos h, exponential, log. In the similar fashion only like you have done in this fashion, now mean, max and all. In similar fashion, just you have to keep as, as a dot sign, a dot cos, a dot cos h. In similar fashion, it will move on and box on. Okay, I'll upload the upload the PDFs of both sine and cos values and some this PDF. Both these PDFs I'm going to upload you, upload for you. Just to go through it. Just try to understand what actually this particular things are happening. I'll try to show you only just a minute. Is the PDF visible? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So this was an array actually that we were discussing yesterday. I'll bus uh, for more easy. Can I have showed you this thing? This was an array array slicing we have done. Okay, we have seen this array slicing. These are the NPR and multi-dimensional arrays. Yeah, you can now easily clarify here. Array. Now, what is this a zero to two zero to ten? What I have already done before column rows, after column columns. Uh, sorry, after comma columns. Zero to two, you have to take the first two columns and the first two first two rows and first two columns. Now, what is this output? Can you just uh, I'll just tell you what is going to be the output. That is will be your one two three four. I guess okay. One two three four will be your output for this. All, all the columns only two is to four. That means what you have to only consider the two and third column. That is four, uh, four, five, six, seven, and all those things. Uh, two comma four. Okay, two comma four. That means will be two comma four will be like two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then uh, another thing left. Okay, one, three. All the columns you have to require only one is two, three. That is the only the two rows we require. The two rows required. Then even taking an array, converting this multi-dimensional array. Simply a2 equal to a1 plus 3, a1 adding that value into 3, then a3 equal to a1 plus a2, done with that thing. These are again some string functionalities, tejakarna.com, it's a simple string we have. Now this char, char again, as you have seen that linear algebra has lean ALG, similar function like for string, that is a char functionality. What is this upper will do? It will convert tejakarna.com into upper formation. Split is going to work on that particular separation functionality. It will convert into an array. Wherever the dot is going to upper in your particular string, it will make into a separate array. These are some functions like np.sign, cos, cos and all those things. Matrix rank, you can also find that thing. Determinant, trace, transpose. All these method functionalities. Then this is a scalar and vector product. Physics, actually physics basically works on this so scalar and vector products. Vector plus there's the complex values and all. SP equal to NP dot dot product four comma five dot product. You can know the dot product is multiplying with those this four four into five twenty. Now taken two vector products. 
vector a comma vector b that is vector functionality so always works on complex functionalities that is a plus iota while while those functionalities simply fun like those uh, dot product when you are you are going to put this uh, dot product on these particular values you will have this uh, dot product of vector values fine then random generation also is a uh, possible in a particular array formation fine what is this 2 comma 3 two rows and three columns it will generate of random values okay okay fine so these are some other values to simply i'll just try i'll upload these things to try to take your own arrays to try to have some more slicing and indexing array functionalities and all the basic requirement is of your slicing work functionalities because this sign cos max minimum concatenate trace and all are directly the values only okay you don't direct functions only you don't have to keep uh, mug up up a lot of things you have to only the basic logic is your basic slicing functionality slicing how actually slicing works try to take your own examples keep just iterating different things what if i am going to keep 2 comma 3 what it will show okay it is showing me this thing what if i am going to print as a 2 2 3 2 2 3 what it is going to show it will show only one element again no it is going to show you a particular array that means what it is an column that's why it is showing you this thing you have to keep up these things that what actually slicing actually works what's the difference between this comma and this this thing comma you are going to specify both rows and columns in a semicolon you are just specifying a particular row only you are not specifying any column value okay so it will take all those values if i am going to put it as two comma a two a two column for it is going to generate two arrays for me that is starting from two and ending for two that's the working of styles you have to think about the slicing required about this thing so if i want an output of 10 here how to get the value of 10 0 1 2 0 1 2 2 comma 2 it is going to generate me an array of value of 10 so this is the value of how actually this thing works okay negative indexing is something when you are going in a deeper knowledge negative index is basically works but first of all just try to focus on those things that are very important to you important aspects for you that is only indexing works just take an small example of this only a equal to np dot rearrange array sorry arrange 20 and reshape 5 comma 4 and try to sort out different values if i want 9 comma 10 and 13 comma 14 how to do if i want 17 comma 18 what if i want 9 comma 10 0 1 2 that is 2 2 2 2 4 okay so i'll i'll having this to 8 and 12 arrays i am going to get okay 8 and arrays we are going to get okay fine now what if i am not want to include this 11 and 15 keep it as minus 1 you are going to not include this 11 and 15 okay what if i am going to not include this minus 2 okay it will just only 8 9 8 9 and 12 13 now what only if i want to include only 8 and 12 so end up with 2 only it will show you uh, sorry again again we are right? what it will show you now one it will only show 8 and 12 now you have to think about you you have in number of uh, you have like how many methods are there in number of methods are there just depends upon you that which will be your best method to showcase your output fine so slicing can be done by in number of ways okay so it's now i'll just assign you the pptts now uh, the pdf files now take any one array and try to solve any indexing and all fine okay any queries in today's session any any queries i guess uh, these are uh, transpose functionalities functions and all those things maybe you have no worries and all 
the only errors is going to occur when you are going to do the slicing and all you have uh, anyone has done okay i didn't ch ch shade any ppts so maybe you are not aware of those things okay fine so we what we are going to do we will we'll again uh, i'll share the pdf file of this numpy of both these arrays uh, both these pdfs now take a look up on those things try to remember different examples and all and just tell me yeah in the tomorrow session that whether you are facing any particular problems or not fine yes sir okay because you have not okay, done sir. yet so it will um, i can't even i uh, can't given guarantee that uh, you will be okay or not just try to go with this pdfs whilst i will share then have a please try to solve okay सिर्फ इतना ही मत रखना जितना मैंने किया सिर्फ उतना ही करके मत छोड़ना ट्राई टू टेक डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स टू सो दैट मोर एग्जांपल्स यू विल टेक मोर प्रैक्टिस यू विल डू यू विल बी अवेयर ऑफ मोर दोस थिंग्स बिकॉज वंस स्लाइसिंग विल बी क्लियर टू यू इट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू फॉर योर अपकमिंग डेटा प्रोसेसिंग एंड मशीन लर्निंग एल्बोरिथम्स फॉर ऑल ऑल फाइन यस सर ओके सर ओके ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एंड या कनिका मैम आपने अटेंडेंस ले ली सर आई हैव टेकन अ स्क्रीनशॉट हां ठीक ठीक मैम ओके 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 फाइन सो आई विल अपलोड द पीडीएफ्स बिफोर 7:30 आई गेस एंड आई विल बिफोर यस्टरडे बिफोर टुमारोस मीटिंग अरे कल तो नहीं हो पाएगी Uh, I don't know whether tomorrow's meeting will be there because the virtual mela is there tomorrow, and I don't think that tomorrow's meeting will be happen. But if it is going to happen, I'll upload the message in the morning only. Not an issue. I'll just try to try to have different examples. Okay, we'll see the remaining thing. Okay, fine. If you have any queries, you can stay in the meeting. Otherwise, you can start leaving the meeting. Thank you. Thank you all. bye thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much man thank you thank you shravani ma'am thank you manoj sir hello yes sir bro meeru ye software vaadutunnaru coding code run cheyadaniki kolabada untitled.pipy ane edo undi kada ada just adaithe collab file ante google lo google collaborator ani okkande vachestadi adi okay okay सिंपल गूगल को yes um, i'm just asking you that when we call, uh, when we just print the int value and find the uh, d type of that int value so it uh -huh. shows the uh, int 64 or if i talk about float value then it show the float uh, 32 so mm -hmm. why we uh, specifically take the 32 or 64 bits i mean it's just say, a bit values that's it there's nothing big logic behind that um yeah i just think that uh, there is some logic so i just want to ask you uh, it's just a bit values that's it it's a float 32 bit and it just actually takes you are not specifying any particular value there right i want this particular float this particular integer and it whatever the, you are presenting it to na it just take it as a, automatically that's it we are not specifying any particular values there it will just take as a float as a 32 bit and integer as a 64 bit fine whenever so, you install Uh, so it will allocate the thirty-two bits space. It's like that. 
no no it's it just shows you the value that's it's just a float value and that's it it's nothing it's not we are not any allocating that value whether it uh, uh you have a jupiter notebook yes i have uh in which should you have run this program um run this program no actually i just uh, as you told me or uh, as you uh, describe in the yeah, yeah you have so done this int 64 and uh, float 32 but where did you the, uh, done that thing in jupiter in jupiter fly luna okay fine so it's a, a like in google collaboratory just an uh, okay i have to check whether the google collab is also showing the same purpose only because I guess so collab is something, it's a runtime application. Na? So it's something I guess it will show a float 64 only. Just uh, wait a minute. I'll just uh, tell you in just a minute. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, so my screen is visible, Sneha, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, sir. Is it now? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, you can see here now. I have taken the three similar A array only, and then I have print np dot array one point two, two point three, three point four A, and I have print D type. Okay, now it is showing as float sixty four. Fine. Yes, sir. Similar fashion, if I am going to put it as a 2, 3 and else, it is going to show me as int 64. It is a real time na, that works on this automatically takes the machine. Like if your, uh, if your system is regarding taking the float values as 32 bit only, that's why it is showing you as float as 32. Fine. Mm, that's okay. the only space working uh, functionality and all. Same thing, uh, like is your, is your system is of 64 bit? Yes, sir. Okay, now go this example, do this example same in the collab file. Yes. You will see now this collab file will take your values and all in a runtime application. Fine, it is not going to have your system values and all. So it will show you the value as int 64 and uh, what you can see int 64 and float 64 only. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, just, uh, just one more minute. Uh, I'll one, have a just a minute, uh, stay in the meet only. Uh, one moment, I'll just tell you. Okay, screen visible, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, simple. What we have taken as we are going to have a float D type, just simply I have taken D type as your float 32. Fine. Now, if we are going to run this, again, this is going to as an output as a float 32 only. 
fine if i am not going to specify this thing it is going to show as float 64 now you can see the difference if i am going to explicitly show this thing na it are to yaar isme na ye kaam nahi karta yaar d type likhna hi padega bas explicitly providing you it is showing here a float as 32 fine yes sir In, uh, okay now just i am uh, giving an example in the jupiter notebook only take that float value and just write d type equal to float 64 yeah just one now tell me what's the output it is showing in this time i am just opening it Yes, ma'am. Two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it shows. It shows to uh, floor sixty-four. Okay, so now it is going to specify now sixty-four space. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I understand now. Okay. Thank okay. you. Any? Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Any further query? No, no. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, okay. Bye, bye, bye. Everyone, bye. ठीक मैम फिर से आपको वहां पर भी ज्वाइन करना है आज तो आपके पीछे पड़ गया हूँ मैं पर सर वो अभी मशीन लर्निंग का पहला बैच है अभी तो वहां पर तो और मजा आएगा क्योंकि वहां पर तो ग्रुप डिस्कशन है सबसे आंसर्स मिलेंगे आपको आज अलग अलग की जॉब कैसे होने वाली है एंड ऑल ज्वाइन करिएगा आप वहां पर अभी सर मेरे को नींद आ रही है ठीक है आप सब ज्वाइन करके चले जाइएगा बस <laughs> क्या करा दिव्यांशी मैम है ना इस पे चली गई सॉरी वैक्सीनेशन के लिए गई है आज मैं वैकेशन के लिए नहीं वैक्सीनेशन के लिए गई है ठीक अच्छा। हाँ मैंने हाँ लिंक भेज दिया आपको ठीक है बस आज एक दो दो चार दिन ही होगा बस उसके बाद तो फ्री आप फ्री हो कल तो शायद होगा भी नहीं क्योंकि कल है ना फिर वो वर्चुअल मेला का है ना इसलिए नहीं हो पाएगा कल शायद आपने लिया है वर्चुअल मेला में नहीं कोऑर्डिनेटर ऊपर से हमारे तो सर भी रजत सर है अब तो इसलिए जाना पड़ेगा इसलिए कल ठीक मैम आप उधर ज्वाइन किया आप ओके ओके